Welcome to Rachel Scale Modeling. This is part three of Revel's Airbus A300 600 ST Beluga. Scale is 1 to 144. In part two, I um, put the fuselage together. So in part three, I'm going to be concentrating on the wings and engines. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. I'm starting on the rear wings and I'm using Revel Aquiller 90 Silver, and this is for the flash at the front of the wings. There is a, an actual line to follow here, so there's no real need to uh, use a masking tape at this stage. And it's the same with the front wings, using 90 silver once more, and just running my brush up along the edge, following the natural line. I'm then moving on to 371 Light Grey Lip Revel Aquacolor, and as you can see there, I've um, used masking tape now. This is to cover up the silver area that I painted. And I'm just drawing the paint from the masking tape onto the surface before painting in the, the main surface. There are only certain areas painted on the main wing with the um, 371 colour. So this is what I'm painting in now. So this colour is only getting really applied to the um, flaps at the um, back edge of the wing. I'm then applying Rebel Up Colour 57 Grey. This is for the remainder of the wing. I will mask off. Uh, um, certain points there, but I'm just doing it a little bit of freehand at the moment. And the only reason why I'm doing it this way is because the paint isn't quite dry, the light grey paint isn't quite dry enough for um, masking tape. It's dry enough to touch, but if I put masking tape on it now, it would just lift off. So I'm just adding some colour now. I'm then going over to Rebel Aquacolor 90 Silver once more, and this is the detailed painting for the landing gear bay. I've already painted in the 371 light grey for the uh, block colours. Um, i done this earlier on when I was painting the other bay, the, 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 the forward one. So this is just the detailing stage. Next I'm using Revo Aquacolor 04 Gloss White and these are the uh, wing stabilisers that go on the edge, well the tips of the rear wings. So while everything's dry, I'm just going to be sanding down the seam lines. So I'm starting off with a, a rough, a rough grit of uh, sandpaper. And then I'm just working my way down the, the various grits until I come to a smooth grit um, to uh, clear up all the seam lines. Now the seam lines are not massive on this uh, because the way I put the fuselage together. But they still need a little bit of attention. Now you remember part two, I said the wheel would probably f uh, fall off. Well, unfortunately it has. This is uh, because of the contact point. Um, it's really not strong enough to hold the weight of the uh, model, but I'll put, replace that back on near the end of the build. So on the undercarriage of the uh, aircraft, I'm just adding on all the little bits and pieces. I, I don't know the names of these parts that I'm, I'm placing on. But um, there must be something to do with air intakes or something like that. Before going next, going on to the um, rear wings, these are just uh, two parts I uh, placed together. They lined up uh, quite well. Just have to bear in mind the um, stabilised section that is going on, which I'm just um, adding now, well, cementing it together. And now it's dry, I can place on the stabiliser to the tip of the wing. The location point for this is, is self-explanatory. The um, edge of the tip goes into the little trough that's in on the stabiliser. The, it can only go in one way really. Uh, the fit is really good as well. It takes a little bit of holding though because of the nature, the shape of the part that I'm placing together. But once it was on then I was able to, to leave it aside and rest. The Landing gear um, bay was a, a slightly different matter. This was just a, an awkward shape a, as well, and um, it took a little bit of jigging to get it right. In actual fact, the um, instructions got the uh, numbers the wrong way around, so that was slightly confusing. But once I worked it out after dry fitting, it was a straightforward fit, really. And once that part was in, it was able then to assemble the wing. Like the rear wings, this was an easy enough fit. The the tips did uh, on my kit did warp up slightly, so um, 
I had to make sure that was all clamped down before I married up with where the ring root is. It wasn't a major thing, but um, if you've never built before, you may not realise you would need clamps for this sort of thing. You know, but um, it's just something to bear in mind. Um, it, it's an old kit, the plastic has just warped a little bit. Nothing to throw it, anything out on alignment, it just needs a bit of attention. Moving on to the engines now, and the first colour here is 99 aluminum by Revo Aquacolor, and this is for the rotating blades. And then using Revo Aquacolor 91 steel, and these are for a, a section of the outside part of the engine and the inside of the cowling for the engine as well. For the next part, I'm having to mix some colours, so I'm using Revo Aquacolor 91 steel 70%. 83 Ross 20% and 09 Arthrosite 10% and this colour is for the rear part of the engine, the exhaust part of the engine and as you can see this part is just like the cone shape part at the um, end of the engine that has this colour in fact and through the tyre build that's the only paint mix that I have to do if you don't want a paint mix, I mean I hate paint mixing um, a rusty colour would work or a dark steel would work as well. And while that's dry, drying, I'm just uh, making up the struts for the landing gear. There's not much construction here. There's uh, two little parts that go into the main strut which holds the, the wheels together. Again, like at the front, the contact points are not massive on here, but they're larger than the front wheels. So I think they'll be okay they'll stabilize okay the camera can't quite make it out but there's two parts that go on the end part here and there's a, a little hole on each end piece where the axle uh, pushes through unlike the, the forward landing gear i am actually placing the um, piston bar on the this uh, strut instead of having the anchor point on the inside the bay before marrying it down. It's only because there's two contact points there and I want to make sure they're in position properly before I carry on. I'm using Rebel Aquila 99 aluminium minimum here. Now on the frost one I used steel. Um, in the end I didn't like that colour so I just switched over to aluminium. minimum. I didn't record it, I done it um, all off camera just when I was looking at it I thought no that's not right. So. The colour has changed slightly on the front strut. So now it's time to put in the area falls uh, for the uh, wing. Th these fit in quite well. The location point needed to be opened up slightly. That was only because there was a bit of paint on them. So just uh, using the uh, thin nose tweezers, I uh, just opened it up, didn't use my knife. And these just uh, pushed on without any problem. There is Pacific ones called Pacific O, so if you're doing this, just cut them off the sprue in order uh, to place them on. And the last part to go on is the end piece of the wing. So it's back to the engine and time to build the engine. Now, the engine itself is uh, very easy to build. There's um, location points throughout the inside of the covering here, and each um, part has its own little house and to sit in. The, um, whole engine and other uh, models you, you would make all up entirely before painting it in its cowling but this one uh, it's actually in stages so the the rotor blade was first to go in then the back piece of that part of the engine then is next to go on uh, as you can see there it just uh, pops in there there really is uh, no drama to this whatsoever it's one of the better engines um well basic better engines that I built it fitted in really well and then the last piece I uh, just fit right in behind uh, in its uh, location point so as you can see there there's uh, three ga gaps in between each unit so then it's time to close up the, the cowling and um, again this was very easy to fit, uh, fit together the location points on each part was spot on there was um, no need to worry about lining it up too much. I did have to clamp it a, a little bit, of course, just because of the shape of it. But apart from that, it went together really, really well. Once it was all dried, I, I gave it a, a second paint a coat, and this is 
Rebel Aquacolor 04 Gloss White. And then after a little bit of drying time, I moved on to the edges of the uh, engine and then used Rebel Aquacolor 90 Silver. And that's just for the rim of the um, front part of the engine. And this is where I'll end part three. So I've done the uh, wings, put them together and the engine. So this is a, a good place to end the video. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you subscribe to the channel? And if you do, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you'll be kept up to date not only with this build, but all my future builds as well, of course. Hit that like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. And of course you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.